This month's tooltip will cover the icons for adding stitch angles and removing stitch angles from your design. First, let's create a design by going to Art Canvas, importing a design, and creating it by using the Convert Vector to Embroidery icon. Once it's been created, you can see on the screen that this has some issues, and it's mainly stitch angle. Now these icons work either with satin stitches or with fills, so these same techniques can be used on almost any design. Select the icon first. Let's remove all the stitch angles from the design. Now all the stitch angles are gone and we can put them in manually using the icon to add stitch angles and values. Select a part of the design and thinking of these lines clicking from one side to the other like rungs on a ladder. So once you've identified the angles that you would like for this object, hit enter on the keyboard and you'll see what a huge difference that makes in the design. You can click on any part of the design to continue. Add stitch angles and work around the design. Again, thinking of rungs on a ladder, identifying the angle. Jump from one area of the object to the other, specifying which way you would like the angle to move, clicking one side, then the other. It doesn't matter which side you touch first, but in each part of the design, identify the angle, select Enter on the keyboard, and you'll see this is now ready to stitch out, and it will stitch beautifully.